Hello painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone guys. I'm glad you have joined me in my happy place. We're going to be doing a fun painting today. Something kind of a little bit different using my earth tones which you all know that I love but what we're going to attempt to do is I was going to do a travel and ring pour kind of at the top but I'm going to put it down kind of heavy and then I'm going to tilt and let it run and maybe swipe the bottom half of it so we're just playing with our paints. It's what I like to do. But before we get started, I wanted to just give a big thank you. I got a couple gifts in the mail this week. And um, one I left upstairs because I had it on earlier. A, a, a sweet paint and peep sent me a beautiful handmade um, cap with a for my head <laughs> for the top of this nappy head with this beautiful big fuzzy poofy ball on top and it is as cute as can be it's in the colors and the earth tones that i love and rick and i go back and forth to Asheville um over the fall and winter months to see the leaves and to uh go through the mountains that we love and miss so much because before we moved down here to palm trees on Hilton Head Island, we lived right at the base of uh, the Blue Ridge Mountains in Virginia. And uh, we would ride our Harley through them almost every day. And uh, we miss our mountains. Uh, we sure enjoy our palm trees, but we miss our mountains. So Asheville's only about a four hour jaunt from here. For us so we head up there often but that um, that uh, beautiful wool cap is going to come in so handy um, up there when I'm enjoying that crisp mountain air but uh, today I got in the mail from sweet Paulette Paulette I can't thank you enough these are handmade washcloths and they've got some nubby kind of texture to them and she noticed that a lot of times I don't paint with gloves just when I own my landscaping company I never wore gloves I love the way the earth felt in my hands when we were uh, prepping the ground and planting trees and shrubs and uh, my hands have seen better days um, and then the Lido man you can see my band-aids my sweet Lido um, you know those puppy dog teeth when you're playing but Paulette made these for me and I gotta tell you guys she uses them on her hands and when she saw my hands and the fact that I didn't use gloves she immediately reached out asked for my address and sent these my way and these are the best washcloths guys I squirt, squirt just a little bit of soap and I work my hands and what usually takes me a good five or seven minutes takes me about 15 to 20 seconds now. You can also use them on your dishes and whatnots, but these will not see my dishes. These are being kept in a safe spot. Um, also good for exfoliating. So Paulette, you're as sweet as can be and you touch my heart. I uh, thank you so very much for this wonderful gift. Y'all make me smile. You make me smile big. We are working on a Blick Premier canvas today. This is a 12 by 36 and we are using some of my favorite colors, guys. All of the, all of you non-earth tone people out there, uh, bear with me. It's that time of year and I'm just feeling these colors. But our base coat today is going to be Rust-Oleum Metallics and this is the Metallic Champagne. And I added just a little bit of my golden iridescent bronze to it to richen it up a little bit. Those golden paints just do miracles for me, guys. But it is just a lovely, lovely shade. You see me use this paint a lot. Our pouring medium today is my swiping pouring medium, 
which is 50% Golden Gap 800 and 50% Floetrol. But because I'm doing a ring pour, I need to thicken my paints up a little bit. And what I do to thicken them up is use my mix pour, which I absolutely love, guys. I put my paint in the cup. I add my regular pouring medium to it. I stir it up and then I eyeball it and I decide, well, I think that needs to be a little bit thicker. And I slowly squeeze in a little bit of my mixed pouring medium till I get it to the consistency I want for my ring pours, which as Sweet Mina would say, a mound on a mound on a mound. So there you have it. Our colors are yummy. Right here in this cup, we have golden fluid paints and that is the burnt sienna good fall color this right here is yummy delicious that is my golden fluid paints and that is my iridescent bronze this fella right here i just got in the mail because i was out of it this is my favorite gold it is not a in your face kind of gold it's not a bossy gold <laughs> most golds to me are very very bossy this is golden fluid acrylics. This is the iridescent gold fine. And this goes a long way, guys. One ounce of paint to four to four and a half parts PM. It goes a long way. This is delicious. This is mocha chocolate caramelly goodness right here. This is Arteza Pearl Deep Brown. I love these pearl Arteza paints. They're glorious. Let me see if I can show it to you a little bit. Just beautiful pearlescence and shimmer in there. Really, really, really nice paints. Now, this got a smidgen of water, and the reason it got a smidgen of raw water is because this paint is thicker than my fluid paints. This right here is a fun color, beautiful color. I don't use it enough. This is Golden Fluids Quadaquadome Nickel Azo Gold. So we're getting our earth tones on, guys. I'm gonna prepare my cup, layer my paints. I'm going to do a traveling ring pour at the top. Tilt it and tilt it and let the paint run off until it's not moving anymore. And then we're going to decide what we're going to do to the bottom half. Maybe a swipe. Maybe we'll leave the negative space. Maybe just a partial swipe. So we're just kind of playing. And I'm glad you joined me, guys. Let's put some tunes on. Let's get busy. <laughs> 